Hi guys, this is Nitin Chandra and welcome to CSS Basic Training. In this video, I'll be showing how to use CSS Box Model. CSS Box Model is essentially a box that wraps around HTML elements and it consists of margins, borders, paddings, and content. Let's get started with a box model. A box model is something like uh, it, it contains margin, border, padding, and content. Margin clears the area around the border and margin does not have background color. It is completely transparent. And the border, border, a border that goes around the padding and the content, the border is inherited from color property of the box. The padding clears the area around the content and for content, the padding is affected the background color of the box. Content is the content of the box where the, uh, where the text and images appear. So let's, this, let's see this in action. I've created a HTML5 document uh, where I'll be demonstrating about the box model. I'll just add a div, div tag, and I'll be adding a class saying box model. I'll just keep the height as 300 pixels and width as 300 pixels. So we'll call this class over in our HTML page class box model. Yes. Okay. So we'll save that document. We'll save. Preview this document in our browser. Okay. You won't be having. You won't be having anything here uh, right now because uh, we, we haven't created we haven't given any color background color or anything uh, we'll start with the uh, within our box model we'll start with the border border of our uh, this one so we'll just add a border to our uh, box model say border i'll keep width as one pixels and uh, solid and i'll say color as around uh, orange color okay so we'll save this CSS we'll, uh, we'll refresh the document okay so we have a box of uh, 300 pixels of height and uh, 300 pixels of width uh, with the border of orange color with one pixel solid um, solid border uh, so next thing is uh, how to uh, so next thing is the margin thing margin is something like after the border the, the space after the border you, you can um, uh, is, yeah, we'll see that in action now. Uh, we'll see. I'll just add box uh, for box model as margin top. Margin top is equal to 100 pixels. Okay. Save this. We'll see. So uh, what should be the uh, result is the uh, uh, the 100 pixels should be added after the after the border of the box model. Okay. You can see see the 100 pixels has been added after the, after the border. And uh, we'll just add a content inside of our uh, box saying content. Save this. Yeah. So you have we have a content. So uh, uh, the content is here, as you see in the box model. The content is here, and the margin is here. So it, uh, content is not affected by the margin. Uh, it will it will only the margin will be added only to the borders. Uh, I'll, I'll add margin left, margin left, 100 pixels. Save this. Okay. So you can see again the margin left has been had added to added to the border uh, as 100 pixels. The next thing is the padding. The padding is added to the content. Like uh, it is, it is a space between the border and the content. So let's uh, let's add padding padding top for thing. So padding top will add. We'll add padding top as uh, 30 pixels. Okay. We'll save this. So right now the content is attached to the border. There is no space between the border uh, border and the content. We'll add the space. Uh, we have already added a padding. Uh, uh, that is padding top is equal to 30 pixels. Uh, so the uh, 30 pixels will be added to the top of the content. I'll just refresh the document so you can see over here the 30 pixels has been added to to the content and the border. Um, 
right likewise we'll add padding left padding left as some 50 pixels okay i'll save this one refresh this okay you can see the padding left has been added as 50 pixels to the content and the border so uh, by this you know, we can say that the margin is for uh, two different uh, two different structures like uh, you, i have another div saying um, box model 2 um, okay so box model 2 um, just copy paste the same thing It has 100 pixels. I'll just remove these things. I'll save this. I'll change the color to green color. I'll save this. Okay. You, uh, right now, what you can see is uh, uh, the two divs are ha are attached to each other. Uh, since I have not added any margin to the second one, so it has been attached to uh, attached to the first first div tag. So if you want to add uh, extra extra space between the two things, uh, I'll, we can just add um, margin. Oops, sorry, okay, margin top as uh, eighty pixels. So I'll save this. We'll refresh that. One. See. So uh, the space between uh, space between the first div and the second div is eight, 80 pixels of height. We, since because we have added uh, for the second uh, box model two uh, as margin top as 80 pixels. Uh, like this, you can uh, you can add add uh, space between the two divs using margins and uh, space inside the uh, space inside the content and the border using padding. That's the different uh, differentiation between margin and the padding. Um, yeah. So uh, similarly, I'll just add a margin left, Oops, margin left as 100 pixels. Okay. So yeah, this is how it uh, it works. So uh, uh, this is the box model uh, where we covered margin. Uh, what is the difference between margin and the padding and uh, uh, where the where the border will be added and what is, uh, to add the content uh, the space between the content and the padding for content and the border um, yeah uh, that's it for uh, today guys so thanks for watching to know more about me visit my website www.nitichandrasa.com thank you